Ote Truck Trail. I came here only because I got frustrated. I was trying to find another trail off of um, Proctor Valley Road. Actually, it was off uh, Mylar Ranch Road, but gates were locked, signs were saying no ATVs, no dirt bikes, and it looked like a really cool dirt trail. But unfortunately, it's off limits to motorized vehicles. So since I was already on 94, which is Campo Road, I decided to come down to Nelzura and come here and visit the, uh, the truck trail again because this, this is always open and I didn't want to have a complete bust of a day with no trail riding. So the Ote Truck Trail is really close to my house and like I said, it's always open. So at least I know, you know, you can have a couple hours of trail riding. And I was using my Garmin this time. I put the mount on for the Montana. All worked, all worked real good. And while I was still on uh, scouting out this other trail, I see the message on the Garmin saying, low battery life. And I'm thinking, I just put the new battery in, what the hell? But then I realize it isn't the new battery. It's the battery that came with this new Montana that Garmin just sent me. So, you know, it has a very, it has a very limited access um, time because they don't it's not fully charged so I have three batteries for the unit and I thought that the battery that I took was one of the other ones that I fully charged make a long story short it wasn't so my Garmin's already dead and I didn't feel like going all the way home to get the other charged battery so I can't play with the Garmin today, but I have been getting more familiar with it, and boy this road is like Rut City, wow, it has really gotten like Rocky Road, I mean I know in the video it looks like it's a smooth ass dirt road, but it's like a washboard, all these little ribs it's like Jesus anyway so I didn't feel like going home so I'm going to take the long version of the truck trail that goes all the way to Alveda Road I think it's called or I'm not quite sure. I can't remember the name of the road. But you gotta go a ways and then you can pick up 805 and go back that way. The short version is taking the hilly trail on the truck trail down to Ote Lakes Road by the um, RV park. Dear, this road has got. I don't know what the deal is here, but. It's really got. Ruffola. So I'm just going to take it pretty easy today. Well, I always take it pretty easy, but you know what I mean. Um, oh, the rifle range is active. I hear a bing bing. So I was looking on the typo map, you know, and it shows all these other little tributary trails off 
Proctor Valley. And that's what got me started to investigate this Echo Valley Road trail. But, like I said, it was, it was locked gates and actual metal signs saying no ATV, no dirt bikes. So, I didn't want any problems and I, I don't gate crash, so. That's why I decided, well, I'm really close to the truck trail here. This is always open. I guess that's a good thing. There'll probably be a bunch of Jeeps out here today. There always is on a Sunday. But I was, I was sort of bummed when, uh, Garmin died because I wanted to practice creating tracks and, and all that kind of stuff and um, you know if you don't use the unit then you don't get familiar with it and it's always foreign and I always I'm not I don't really like electronic things that much to begin with so I have to force myself to use it. But I mean, it does a lot. And like I said, I'm still learning. But I just picked up the wrong battery. So this trail is always open. And then, uh, I think it was last weekend, I went out past Potrero back out to that I don't know the names of the roads but it's it was it was that um, those roads going all the way to Mexico now this is the leg to the truck trail but I've been coming here for I don't know, I guess the last four or five months and it's always open, so I guess that's a good thing, right? So I did put the mount on for the Garmin, that, that works really well, but it doesn't work well with my phone. So I had to do some Afro-engineering and I had to break out some zip ties because I won't be able to remember the exact turns when I get off of the truck trail. take me back to uh, 805 but we'll we'll make it but I was going to practice using my other profile on the Garmin like the automotive profile to actually use it to get home with but like I said dead batteries don't allow you to do much that's an oversight on my part I, I thought I thought that I charged this battery and the other spare battery that I had charged I think is actually in the box in the Garmin box. So, from now on, I gotta make sure that all of the other auxiliary, the other two extra batteries I have are, are fully charged. It was just ironic, because I actually, I actually had the Garmin with me, and then I can't use it, 
because I don't have any battery life. That's a bummer. So, like off of the truck trail that I haven't explored yet. Like this one here is the one that I tried to explore before and I talked to the border patrol and he said normally um, it's a gnarly ride and uh, the gate is normally locked at the bottom that does go out to 94. So I elected on that day to not even bother to go all the way down. I hate to go down steep, gnarly roads if you can't get out. So, I just took his word for it. But there's a lot of other... There's a lot of other dirt trails like... I don't know where that little thing goes. But I have time to explore them and then... Um, get a little bit more familiar with the terrain it's a lot easier this is a pretty uh, pretty good road. I mean, they have visual mirrors on all the blind corners, which helps. But I never take these corners wide because that can be a disaster if there's somebody else coming, you know, another Jeep is coming and they're taking it wide and you're taking it wide. Not a recipe for an effed up day. Now we're back on this pea gravel shit. This isn't really pea gravel, so it's like smaller than pea gravel. I've mentioned it 
before and it's it's a little bit it's a couple grades up from just pure sand but it's still really slippery because it's poured on top of like real hard packed so it makes it pretty difficult to stop if you have to stop in a hurry you have to say a Hail Mary your bike just wants to wash out. There is the official Ote Mountain Wilderness Area sign. I don't think there's any camping back here. Not that I know of. I want to sweat and ride all day and then camp out. This time of the year, we're almost getting into July. It's just, for me, it's, it's too hot to camp. Unless I have a camp spot like along a river or a lake like somewhere you can jump in the water and get refreshed. Because camping out here in this desert heat is not really what I want to do. There's a pickup truck behind me. I actually thought there would be more people out here today. die down because the drier and drier it comes in the season the more smoke the Jeeps create bikes don't as much but you know four wheelers got those big fat tires kick up all this dust
Border Patrol. Border Patrols are helpful guys. You can stop them and get info from them. And I've never run across any of them that don't help you. They're all good guys. I guess there are some women officers. I haven't run into any, but these days it wouldn't surprise me. So far we have a couple border patrols and a pickup, but I haven't seen any other bikes. Day's not over yet though. are popping. They maintain this road as well as they do just for the border patrol because this is so close to the border it gives the agents good access I've never seen anybody's private residence off of this road so Pretty high. It's another feature that I like with the Montana is it'll tell you your elevation. It's got like an altimeter. I mean, your ears popping are always telling you you're climbing, but sort of nice to, to know how high you are. The drier and drier you get, 
in the season all of these shrubs along the road are turning grayish white from the dust this is the soupy pea gravel it gives your bike the feeling like you're in like deep sand and if you're a sand rider you know you got to keep your speed up otherwise it's like sagebrush because you I can I can smell the smells you can smell the sage it's, it's like an incense kind of smell was like, please downshift me. This is the top of the mountains here. It's pretty quiet out here today. I really thought there'd be more more traffic. That little road there, I don't know where that one goes.
what are they doing up here? This is how far the very first time I came when it was like super foggy I mean it was so foggy you couldn't you literally couldn't see anything it was sort of like being in the outer limits and this is how far that I got at that point there's quite a few activities here That there, if you go that way, it'll take you down to um, the campground store off of Ote Lakes. It's all downhill. It's pretty ruddy. Up here, if you keep going, is where the summit, the highest summit lookout is. It'll be up here on the right. If, you, if, if it's your first time on the truck trail here, it's worth going up because you have uh, really nice views. But back there where all those people were parked, and there were a couple other dirt bikes, if you made that right turn, you can go down to, uh, I forget the name of the little store, but there's a store at the bottom, and there's a camp, like an uh, RV park, and that's Ote Lakes Road. That would be like a loop of the truck trail taking you back to 94. Today, I'm actually taking you on the whole truck trail, which I think is like 25, 20, you know, I don't know, 25, 28 miles, something like that, which, you know, I'll give you a few hour little dirt riding still better than just staying on the street all day. All way over there is all Mexico. Now here's the road here. If you make a right up on this little, that road right yonder, that takes you up to those um, microwave dishes and that's actually the summit or like the lookout for Ote Mountain. And you have some nice views up there. It's, it's relatively easy. There's some there's some washed out areas of the road, but um, you know you pick the right course, you you can get up there with not too much difficulty. I mean, if I can get up there, anybody can get up there. Part of me would like to just fly down this road, but you know, I gotta go to work tomorrow. 